What's up, guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrical. I really appreciate that. Now, uh, I've been, you know, away, uh, but now I'm back. Uh, I will thank you for, you know, watching, subscribing. If you're new here, thank you. Thank you for being an electrical. Now, uh, today I have these batteries before me that I want us to talk about uh, series and parallel connection in the batteries. Okay? Now, uh, probably you can learn one, two... Uh, thing here. Now, these two batteries that I have here, they are 12 volts each, 150 ampere hours. Okay? Uh, most of the system that uh, we have commonly are 12 volts, 24 volts, 48 volts, but 48, it's not really common. Even 24, not very many people, you're not, you're not going to find batteries of 24 volts. Uh, as in regular variable. No, mostly 12. So, if you need, uh, if you have a, a, a system of 24 volts, but you have two 12 volt battery, so you can use a series connection such that that series connection, it will give you 24 volts. So you will sum up the voltage of these two batteries and they will give you 12 volts. Okay? But, uh, if you want to increase on your uptime or the capacity of this battery. Now, I told you earlier, one battery is 150 ampere hours, okay? But if you want to double, because one, uh, ampere hours, it's the capacity or it, of the battery or it's the, uh, the time that it can sustain the load that you have, okay? So that's an ampere, you know, by hours, okay? So 150 ampere hours. So if you want to increase on the uptime, uh, then you have to double. So if you connect these batteries in parallel, then you're going to increase on your uptime, but the voltage will remain the same. The system will have 12 volts. Even if you, you connect uh, this battery parallel like 10 batteries, the voltage will remain 12 volts. But uh, the capacity will change. You, it will sum up uh, all the batteries. Okay? But if you're connecting a series, 10 batteries, it will be, you know, doubling, doubling the voltage like that. So, having said that, uh, we have terminals here. Okay? So, you have got uh, the red, which denotes uh, positive, and then black, which denotes negative, and so on. Here. So, if we want to connect uh, them in series, so I have some jumpers here, they are uh, pretty long, but the good thing is that they are color coded, so we are able to know what we are doing, okay? All right, now I have two wires here, I have a, a black and red, and also these one, and red. these are covers. These are terminal covers, so we, yeah, but they also help you to, to identify, okay, the colors. Okay, now we want to connect this battery in series, okay? So, what we are going to do, uh, you will have to take one lead of positive, which is red, and then you put it here on red, so you see that. Okay? Now, we're going to take uh, the other side and we'll put it to the negative of the second battery. Okay. Now, what we remain with here is two terminals, positive of the other battery and negative of this battery. So, if you measure this, these two, it will be 24 volts. Okay. So, I want us to do that just quickly. So, my meter will be in, uh, will be in DC, okay? So, I will show you what we get. So, I'm just going to remove uh, this cover here. It is off already. And then also, I'm going to remove this one, okay? 
So I'm remaining with these two. This is positive and uh, this is negative. Okay. So probe here, probe here. That is 23 volts, close to 24. Okay. So because we've connected them in a series, that's what you see right there. But if I change and uh, I decide to connect on one battery, okay, you see that one changes. The charge is a bit closer than 12. I mean, that is 11. Okay. So, okay, you've already seen that. That's how we connect battery in series. Okay. Now, uh, the other way around is how we connect them in parallel, okay? Okay, now, you see, with parallel, what you're going to do is just because the voltage remains the same and uh, the current or the, the, the capacitor will change, okay? So you just have to put red to red. This is positive to positive. And negative to negative, okay? So I'm just going to remove the read, the, uh, these reads, and then you see. So this is negative to negative, okay? And I'm putting positive to positive, okay? And now, if I try to test here, so you see, I'm testing positive of the other battery, negative of this battery, but I'm getting 11 volts, okay? So the voltage is for one battery, okay? But the capacity of, the capacity of this battery now changes, okay? It changes. So now it is because each battery is 150. So if you sum it up, it is uh, now 300 ampere hours. So that means that if this battery was to maybe supply uh, your light, uh, your light there for maybe five hours. So that means that if you uh, connected two batteries in, in, in parallel, now it will serve the same light for 10 hours. Okay. What you have to do is to minimize voltage drop as much as possible, okay? Now, the other disclaimer also, I have used uh, these... I have used these jumpers for the demonstration purposes only, but probably if you're going to connect these batteries together, you're going to need, uh, you know, measured wires like this one so if you connect from this time to this time you know you really need shorter wires okay so you have like shorter wires okay like this so the more you minimize the length of these cables uh the more it will give you the precise uh service okay all right now thank you very much for being an electrical thank you for watching uh tell me i'll be bringing you such videos uh once a week yeah and uh the other thing also we are going to be doing uh generator related uh, uh videos more often uh, on the engine so if you have more questions on engineers uh generator purposely all of it so you just drop your questions in the comment i'll be glad and you tell me which kind of videos so you wanna uh watch which kind of video can i bring you because more especially about about generator engineers okay so until next time thank you very much if you're new here uh subscribe like and share until next time i'm out